Once you have this right here updated, then it's gonna allow you to do some of these things. So it looks like that there's kind of a circular look Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo. And as of the recording of this video, it is April 22nd, eight o'clock at night, and there is a massive update to Goodlock, but not only the Goodlock itself, but also the majority of the rest of the modules that's also sitting inside. Now, for some reason, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 over here is letting me know that there is update for these modules and why it's not showing on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, I don't know for sure. But when you do take a look, you'll notice that there is actually an update. And the reason why I mentioned that as of the recording of this video, it's the 22nd. It's because right here it does mention April 23rd as the update, but you just have to remember some people do think I time travel, so maybe I do. Or you may know that right now in the United States it is the 22nd, but in South Korea it's already the 23rd. So there's a lot of modules in the application itself that has an update. So we're going to go through all of those ones here. So first I would mention to take a look over inside of your Galaxy Store. So inside of the Galaxy Store, it's inside my Samsung folder. You go inside the Galaxy Store, then you'll head up to the very left-hand side and you go to Updates. So you can see here that you have the Samsung One UI Home, Secure Wi-Fi, but let's take a look at some of these good luck applications and modules. So here's Theme Park, Good luck itself. You also have home up and clock face. So when you take a look at some of this update info, you can read what is new really for all of these. So what we can do is when we go inside of this larger screen, again, you can scroll through, you can see when this one was updated. Uh, when you, when you take a look at the what's new for this version, import from theme parks theme and other minor bug fixes. So that is the update for that one. If we take a look at good luck itself, so sorting the order by app installation status ready for new app which is called routine plus so i'm pretty excited to see what this new module is so you have to update it before this one to even come in and then the modified graphics user interface issues so let's just go through let's go let's uh, update good lock itself uh, then we're going to go back we're also going to update theme park as well so for that one it didn't look like that there was too much to really look at then here we go with home up so with inside of home up you can read it there or you can tap on the icon so what is new here is you can add two kinds of layouts the vertical list and slim list there's also a support for mini mode only for list grid stack list type add circular list mode only for vertical list and slim list. So we'll, we'll definitely take a look at home up there and exactly what they're talking about with these ones and then provide quick launch of split screen on recent app. So let's go through, let's also update this one as well. Scrolling back to the next page, here is clock face. So a lot of people ask me where I got, you know, the, the lock screen clock face that I'm using. So if we were to go into my lock screen here, you know, I have it located on the very top right hand side. Uh, I use that basically with lock star. Then I use clock face to bring in that, that clock. So here we go for clock face. It states that it updated the GIF image resource and then it updated the angle correction logic when editing customized item, which is probably one of those things that I just got done showing you on my lock screen as well. So there's quite a few updates um, that is going on. Now there is some of these modules that are updated that I don't really have downloaded to my phone. There's a few modules that I do and I don't use. So just make sure that once you update it, then you go inside of good lock just to take a look at all the rest of them. So here's lock screen, you know, and if you ever do want to see if there is an update, you can tap that. Uh, so that one was already updated and, and installed. So let's head back over here. Let's, let's go into the family screen right here i know that there was one of these that was also updated i believe theme park was one but i think we already did that on the last screen so yeah we are updated here if you did want to take a look just to see if there's any other updates for keys cafe when you scroll down the last time this one was updated was on january 26th uh, wonderland let's see if this one was there so this one does not have an update it was last updated uh, basically uh, february 24th for one hand operation plus no update here. Last updated was March 24th. You have Pentastic, Nice Catch, and a few other things as well. So let's say that we want to go through and I, and I, and you want to see, you know, what is new, what was added. So I know there, there was a lot of things that was added with Home Up, but let's just take a look really quick over at Multistar just to see if this one also had an update as well. Uh, April 23rd. So it looks like Multistar does have an update. I just didn't have it downloaded, you know, as a module already. So what is new? So underneath what's new. So right here supports uh, prevent pop-up view minimalization 
version uh, improved the issue that enabled multi-window to all app is not working in some apps, adjust the font size on multi-star after changing resolution, and modified a message on multi-window restriction. So let's take a look also at Navstar. Let's see if this one also has an update. It's one that I don't have downloaded. So this was updated March 23rd. And then Notistar for this one. Uh, it was also updated today as well. So what's new here is show the alert message when the lock screen hide content setting is turned on, fix database searching issue with special characters, and then also fixed other minor bugs. Now, before we go in depth and really see what is new for a few of these modules, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And please, again, write a comment, give it a thumbs up. It'll definitely help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So the first one I want to take a look at is Home Up because I did remember it talking about, you know, different types of task changers on here. So look at this. So it looks like our, our layout type has been updated. So we also have vertical list and then we also have slim list. Let's see here. And it's saying, please download the latest One UI Home. Okay, so you do actually have to make sure that you go back inside of your Galaxy store and make sure that you update the latest Galaxy Home uh, One UI. So once you have this right here updated, then it's gonna allow you to do some of these things. And so obviously they had to update Samsung One UI Home in order for you to really you know, use one of this, this newest updates of the module inside of GoodLock. So we're gonna go back inside of GoodLock. So if you run into that issue, just make sure you do that. Let's head, let's head right back inside of uh, Home Up, Task Changer. Here we go. Vertical list. Hey, hey. circular list. Hey, <laughs> sorry. I'm stupid. Okay. So here we go. So we got the list. We have grid stack, vertical list, and then slim list. Now it looks like in terms of what was mentioned, you will have the circular list uh, that will be working for slim as well as a vertical. So if you wanted to turn this on, it says the vertical list uh, type changes to circular. So how about we take a look at exactly, you know, what this looks like. So let's say that we open up YouTube just to get an application open. Then we're going to go inside of Twitter. Let's get that one going. And then let's go inside of uh, Instagram, get that thing going. And so now when you open this up here, so it looks like that there's kind of a circular look when it comes down to this one. So what would happen if we were to turn this off? Um, so it looks like it's just gonna be straight. So you're gonna have a slight curve that's on the right-hand side. So you can see here for this vertical list that it's just straight. Uh, let's go to the slim list as well. So we're gonna turn on the circular list. And so it, it kind of has like a, like a 3D effect to it, I guess, as you scroll up and down with it. And then when you open this up, if you were to take off that circular list, uh, you can see how this is just flat. There's no animation kind of making it circular with the list. When you have more and more applications, I'm sure it's going to look, you know, quite a bit better. Uh, so again, you have circular list. Uh, you, you have that working with your slim as well as the vertical. Pretty cool. Usually I do like the grid. It's it makes it very simple and easy. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Let's go through here. Uh, I am going to take a quick look over here, a quick gander over at uh, this one just to see what we've missed. So it, it adds two kinds of layouts, the vertical list, slim list. We saw that. Uh, it also supports the mini uh, list as well. So if you want to turn on mini list, it should be there for those two. And then uh, when it comes down to this one, it adds circular list for those. So that's pretty much it for the, the home up you know, module. So if we do want to take a step back here. So another one that we do want to take a look at is I believe in clock face, it mentions something along the lines of uh, update GIF image resource. So we'll see exactly what they mean by that. So maybe the GIFs are coming from a different type of location. Uh, so inside of clock face, we're just going to go up here and we're going to create our, our new one. And when you hit on this plus button, this is where you can add in, like if you want it to be digital, you can change the date, the text, uh, images. Let's go to GIF right here. So uh, I don't, I can't remember what this looked like from before or where all of this stuff came from. Um, I don't really know what the big massive change is or what this really means, uh, but it has something to do with GIFs uh, inside of, of, of clock face. So how about we head on back? We're gonna take a look at another one that had another update here. So taking a look at another one that it mentioned, I remember Multistar, but I believe this was mostly for kind of bug fixes. So let's see, a pop-up view, minimization, improved issue, adjust the font. So yeah, so this one's mostly uh, for bugs. If we head over to another screen here for Theme Park. So Theme Park for this update, 
Let's see, it looks like it was import from theme parks theme, other minor bug fixes. So I'm not seeing really anything major there that we would want to take a look at. And then really the last two that we can look at uh, for Navstar for this one, it looks like there's an update for uh, fixed the work based on button position settings of foldable and tablets. So if you have a tablet or a foldable phone, just like here with the Galaxy Z Fold 2, looks like they did something with the button positions. Fix the issue that the gesture hint was exposed on the tablet decks. Uh, and then also fixed back gesture sensitivity reset issues. So I don't think we really need to look at that one. That looks like bug issues there too. And then for the Noti Star, uh, for all of the notification stuff, show the alert message when the lock screen hide content setting was turned on, fixed database searching issue. So it kind of looks like uh, more bug fixes with this one. I'm not really a huge user of, of Noti Star. So thinking back at some of the biggest things that was changed and updated would be good lock itself. You also have the uh, clock face, so you'll have have uh, an updated GIF location or whatever that may mean, wherever the resources come from, along with angling of your date and time on the very top. The biggest one for me would be home up when it comes down to the task changer. So it changes the way that everything is interacting with, you know, right over here on the right hand side. And then also too, for anybody else who uses some of these other applications, some of these other modules inside of here, if you ran into any of those itch issues where there's a bunch of bug fixes really for the, for the majority of these ones, like inside of Noti Star, and then also inside of uh, theme park and some of these other ones as well too so a big 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 update super cool super glad that it all came literally basically on the exact same day again i am shooting it here at night the uh the 22nd even though it states the 23rd and i'm uploading it on the 23rd uh, again it's it's happening right now uh and so when you're watching this video head inside of good lock head inside the galaxy store make sure you update your your home one up you know or the the samsung one ui home so make sure you update that and then you can update all the rest of these modules inside of GoodLock. But I hope you guys have appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.